Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charguy and welcome back to this tech tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to host your bot for free with Heroku. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually set up our Heroku app. So go to the link in the description, it's going to bring you to Heroku. Uh, create your account. Once you finish doing all that, it's going to take you to this page. All you have to do is go to the top right corner, hit new, create a new app. Uh, we're going to name our app Tootbot. You can name your app whatever you want to name it. Create app. All right. So let's start down with this. We're gonna to go to settings. Scroll down to the build pack section. Um, we're gonna hit add build pack and we're gonna select Python. Save changes. And boom, there we go. We're all set up from there. So the next thing we have to do is we have to create our um, folder. Now this will contain all of our project files that will be pushed to Heroku. So go to right click, new folder. And I'm gonna name this Tootbot. All right, so I have this bot here. I'm gonna put it in the folder. Uh, basically, it's kind of just like a ping bot. So let's just run that, open up Discord. All right, so basically I just do ping pong. And notice how it only works when this is running. So like if I exit this and I do ping, it won't respond and that's because the bot is offline. So we can fix this by hosting the bot. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the first thing you have to do is when when you push this folder to Heroku, Heroku needs to know what things you need to install in order to make this work. In our case, it is the discord.py library. So I'm gonna right click, new text document. I'm gonna name this requirements. So let's open up requirements.txt. And the first thing we're gonna write, so basically when you push this to Heroku, Heroku is gonna run pip install and then whatever's in here. Now it'll also, like if you're using the rewrite function, you can do that too. All you have to do is just do git plus and then whatever your GitHub link is. I don't know what that is. So um, you could just put that in. But for my case, I'm just gonna use discord dot py uh, now if you're using the voice version of discord.py you just do bracket voice and then you just see that for my case I'm just using discord.py so let's save this it's like a new file uh, this is gonna be our proc file so basically our proc file is like our process file so whenever you push to Heroku Heroku is gonna want to run this uh, in our case we're gonna be running um, Python 3 and then bot.py because that's what my bot name is here. Now you have to preface it with worker colon python 3 bot.py. Um, so let's file, file, save as. Now this is the important part. You're going to want to go here, select all files, do quotation mark proc file and quotation mark save now you know you did it right when you have an empty file here that this is proc file all right so once you have all of your folders set up the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to install the software that we need to push this to heroku so i'm going to open this up in the virtual box just because i already have the files installed but basically uh first thing we're going to need is git so we're going to install go to the link in the description you're gonna install whatever Git you need for your Windows minus 64 bit. So let's just wait for this to finish installing. All right, so once you finish it installing, you're gonna open it. I'm gonna hit run. Yes. Next, next, uh, next, next. Use Vim, uh, next. Keep all of these as default. Uh, we don't want any of this and then hit install so you're allowed to do this thing i'm going to cancel it because i already have it installed on this virtual box and i don't want it to mess up stuff all right so the next thing you want to install is the heroku cli um go to the link in the description and install the cli for whatever um heroku for whatever operating system you're using uh i'm windows 64 of it so i'm going to install that so once it finishes installing you're going to open it Yes. Uh, make sure all of that's checked. Next, install. 
You're gonna let it do its thing. Again, I already have it installed in this virtual box. So I'm just gonna alt F4 out of this. All right, so once you have installed all of that software, uh, you're going to go to the command prompt. And the first thing I'm gonna type in the command prompt is I'm gonna cd into our project directory. The easiest way to do this is just drag the file into there. Do not set that up manually. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Heroku login. Punch in your credentials. All right. So once you've logged into Heroku, it's time to initialize the Git repository. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do git init. And then we're going to do Heroku git colon remote space tag a and then here you're going to put in whatever your uh, name is of your uh, application mine is cheatbot py so i'm going to put in cheatbot py enter and boom you're good to go from there so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do git add period you're gonna do git commit tag am. And if you're familiar with GitHub or Git at all, this is like where you would, when you push something, this is where you put the comment. I'm just gonna do first push, enter. Finally, we're gonna push this to Heroku. So we're gonna do git push Heroku master. All right, so once uh, this is finished doing its thing, it's gonna deploy all of that to Heroku. So you can close out of that. Go to Heroku, go to Overview. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our dyno. So if you notice, it's still offline. And that's because uh, we don't have our dyno set up yet. So our dynos is basically gonna run the command that we put into our prod file and over and over again, make sure that's constantly running. So we're gonna go to configure dynos. A lot of times just to refresh the page. All right, so you should see up here worker python3 bot.py. Go to edit, turn that on, and hit confirm. Let's go to our logs. And with any luck, we should see it starting up. Yep, there we go. We've got running on tutorial bot. And if you come into our Discord server, hey, look, it's online. And I can ping the bot. Cool. Uh, now that's basically it, but there's one more thing. So, uh, this gives you only a limited amount of hours per month by default. In order to get the full month for free, you just have to verify your credit card. They won't charge you. They just want to make sure you have that verification, but that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also let me know what kind of stuff you want to see from me in the future. If you want to do a full on. Discord bot tutorial, let me know. This is Char Guy and I am out.